Imagine you were, at last, planning your much-awaited dream holiday, and when you were just about to take off, a gang of police officers surround your partner and arrest him for possession of some illegal substance. Confused. Lost. Broken. Scared. Of course, anyone would be. Life will suddenly go on an unexpected journey, and everything would seem difficult. Yu Ka Yi, a 20-year-old woman, had to experience this misfortunate event in her life. She was leaving for a vacation with her boyfriend, and at the same moment, cops surround him. This was just not all when she was crying for help, a pilot turns towards her, and what she witnesses next was the least expected. Probably even in her dreams, she would have never thought of something like this. Yu Ka Yi, was 20 years old when she started dating Chun Chan Chun, who was 30 years in age. As for the couple, it was an instant connection they felt with each other. Yu was an immature and kiddish one, while Chan was a perfect blend of calm, composed and understanding guy. They knew that this contrast of personalities is what makes them an idol couple. Yu and Chan the first time met via their mutual friends. A common friend had organized a party at which the duo exchanged the looks. The moment Chan saw Yu, he knew that she is the one he had been waiting all long for in his life. Though they shared a very small talk that night, Chan knew what he needs to do next. Chan arranged for Yu's contact number through his friends, and invited her for a coffee. Surprisingly, Yu too showed her interest and readily agreed for it. The duo met over for a coffee and shared a great conversation. Yu recalls that they talked for three hours, continuously giggling and laughing. The duo was dating since long, and that Christmas was around the corner, they decided to go on for a vacation. This trip would mean that they both could spend some quality time together, something they don't get much in their ever so busy and hectic schedules. However, Yu never knew that this vacation would not go as planned. Yu and Chan had planned out a trip to Singapore. Not only was this place unexplored to them, but a lot of their friends resided there as well. And as it was Christmas, nothing could have been better than celebrating it with their friends in a land of wonder. As the days were approaching there, Yu's excitement hit the core. Little did she know that it was going to be a trip she'll remember all her life. Yu and Chan double-checked their lists, and were making last-minute notes of the things they were yet to pack. After hours of packing, they were ready to leave for Sultan Aslan Shah Airport, that serves Ipo, which is a city in the state of Parak, Malaysia. While they packed their bags, they didn't realize that the misfortune had also packed its bags to come along with them. It was a usual day, but that the couple was going for their dream vacation, the day appeared to be special to them. Yu's elder sister was also joining them on this trip. The airport was full of chaos, there was hustle bustle all around, people were checking at the security check, immigration counters had its own queue. While waiting for Geo at the security check, Yu noticed a strange sight. One can easily locate cops at the airport, but Yu noticed that that day, in particular, there were more cops than usual, and they were searching for something, probably. A gang of policemen was carrying some documents and they were looking for someone. Young Yu had no clues that the police officers were looking for none else than the man of her dreams. Yu and Chan along with Jio, were waiting in the common area for the boarding gates for their flight to Singapore to open. Just then, the unexpected happened. The police officers that Yu saw initially were walking right towards Chan and her. She was scared and held Chan's arm tight. The very next happening left her startled. The police officers gathered around the couple and asked Chan to get up. They said something suspicious has been found in his handbag, and he immediately has to be arrested. Yu was completely shocked and could not understand what was happening. What did they find in his bag? Was it a wrap to their trip which did not even commence properly by now? The officers did not even give Yu and Chan a second to think. They immediately took Chan to a corner and began questioning him. Due to security reasons they did not let Yu accompany Chan while he was being investigated. The only question the officers had for him was, what are you carrying along in this bag? Yu began to panic. She had never witnessed such a scene in her life. She was completely distraught at the sight of police officers. She was feeling helpless. She was freaked out and all she would do was question the officers about Chan and their motives. Why did they arrest him? Has Yu and Chan landed in a mess too tough to be sorted? Chan was claimed to have been carrying illegal substance in his bag. Probably, he was accused of carrying drugs. What was Chan up to? Why was he carrying a substance that was completely banned to be carried? Huyushi had no idea what a terrible mistake Chan had done.
Yu had shivers running through her body, thinking of what all could Chan land into if he was held guilty for possessing any illegal substances in the airport premises. G0D forbid he would be penalized, and not only this he would be straight away put behind the bars. Yu had every reason to worry. Gio, Yu's elder sister tries to calm down Yu, though she herself was panicking. The officers asked Yu to relax and have some water, and patiently wait at Chan's seat until they carry on with the investigation. If there are any updates on the case they would be informing her. Yu was distressed. She was totally clueless about everything. But, she didn't sit quietly. Yu did not sit back quite, all she had to say to the officers was that she trusts Chan a lot and she is confident that he could never carry a substance this suspicious in airport premises. He is a responsible human being and he can't do something like that dash, she said. But there was a lot more than expected to come her way. While Yu was desperately waiting for Chan to return and the matter to be sorted, she was holding back on the chair and was constantly praying. All she prayed was for the situation to cool down. She had never anticipated that a holiday she was so eagerly waiting for would turn out into a nightmare. And suddenly she hears something. While she was just praying for Chan's safety, Yu hears some strange sounds. Soon only she realized that it was not any kind of announcements being made or anything, but there was some music playing. Wait, what? Why did suddenly music start to play in the background? What was happening? Yu was literally crying for an hour or so, and such music in the background became irritating for her. She looked back to see where the sounds were coming from, and what she saw next puzzled her. From the same room where Chan was being taken, a man who seemed to be a pilot was walking towards her. And when Yu had a closer look at him, she lost her mind. Not only Yu but everyone at the airport had their eyes in one direction. In the direction where the pilot was stepping in from. Yu had no idea that a huge surprise was waiting for her. The pilot was no other than Chan himself. But why was he dressed in the uniform of a pilot? Yu was shocked to see Chan like that. He was adorning a pilot's uniform, and moreover, he carried a bouquet of red roses and a box of the ring in his hand. The man who was just being arrested for possession of illegal substances suddenly walks down the aisle. This was getting exciting now. As Chan stepped towards Yu, an entire team of photographers and videographers accompanied him. And then a band of performers gathered around who played live music. Yu couldn't believe her eyes. And she started crying, yet again. Soon only Yu shook hands with reality. The arresting of Chan and his investigation was everything pre-planned. Chan had sketched out this entire drama to hit Yu with the proposal she had never expected or imagined. Definitely, it was a huge surprise for Yu. Chan handed over the bouquet to Yu and started speaking of his feelings for her. He in presence of half the population at the airport, declared his love for her. Without fearing anything he told Yu, how much he loves her and what she means to her. And then came the most obvious question. And finally, the moment was there, for which more than Yu, the crowd at the airport was waiting for. Chan went down on his knees and took out the box that had a shining diamond ring. He with the sweetest smiles asked you close quote will you marry me? Will you spend the rest of your forever with me? After such a big surprise, there were no scopes of you denying the proposal. With teary eyes, you had just one word to utter. Yes. All this mess and chaos was created just to pop out the question every girl dreams of hearing. You was overjoyed at the scene. The duo shared a warm hug and the crowd applauds at this proposal. None had ever thought that a man would be arrested only to present her girlfriend with a gift she would cherish for all her life. It was a dream proposal. Find in her the entire elaborate proposal. How beautifully had Chan chalked it out to leave the love of her life completely blown away. Yu's reactions are worth catching. And if you ask what next, then continue reading. When this news caught all the media attention, Chan was called for an interview and asked how had he planned it all. Also, how much did this affair cost him? and the amount of money he spent on this was exceptionally huge. He spent nearly $3,295 for all this to happen. Chan also tells that he had been planning for this proposal since months. He had searched for what all places he could propose to you, and when he came across the fact that none had ever proposed to anyone at this IPO airport, he knew that it was supposed to be done here. Chan says that even Geo was a part of his proposal plan. He thought to take Gio so that while the officers arrest him and he dresses himself up in the costume of a pilot, she could sit with you and calm her down, and don't let her panic. What a plan man. Chan shared his deepest fears as well. 
he says that though you and he had been dating since long, despite that he had this fear of rejection. He was not sure how would you react when he presents her with the wedding ring. While you had a different story altogether. Chan also informs later that the event company that he hired for organizing this proposal had some internal connection with the authorities at the airport, and thus, it became quite easy to pull up this plan. You recalled that she had shivers running through her body when the officers arrested Chan. Her brain had stopped working and she couldn't understand anything. The entire situation just froze her. However, the couple says that they are quite happy now. Neither of them had expected that the proposal that was so special to them would turn out to be in such a manner. For any couple, it was a dream come true type of grand proposal, and you can't thank Chan enough for this. People had all sorts of reaction to this proposal. While for some it was a romantic event, some were complaining about airport security to grant such kind of permission to the couple. Nevertheless, it is all well if it ends well.